Hey YouTube, this is Rafaust. Today we have one big box to open. It has about 25 books in it. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so this was an eBay auction win. Um, there were a number of uh, Thor books. Um, I have <clears throat> about 300 through um, 450, I believe, of Thor from the 80s through the 90s, or 90, about 92, I guess. <clears throat> and But I was missing some in the lower 300s, so instead of kind of looking for them, I think seven or eight of them, this was a pretty big lot of 25 books I got. Um, and instead of buying them individually, I, I just got this. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> and any, any extras, I'll, I'll compare to what I have and see uh, if these are better condition. Uh, and I'll keep them, and, and then I'll fill in the gaps that I do not have. I think there's only one left in the 300s that I do not have. I think it's 322 for some reason. I don't think it's... <laughs> significant book or anything all right so they had it packed in a uh, that paper and now it's in a plastic bag so let's get this open all right <clears throat> let's see what we have here okay <laughs> so the first book here is uh, Thor 293 and this is from 1979 I know I was saying <clears throat> from 300 but <clears throat> this lot included a few in the 290s so um, I'll take those, I guess. <clears throat> I might go a little lower in my Thor run. I have Thor 126, so... <clears throat> oh, it feels like... Oh, yeah, they so they got two per bag, so... I guess that saves on bag space. I'll be replacing these bags anyway. So this is Thor number 295 from 1980. Storm Giants. <clears throat> Begins the ring... Uh, the quest for the Ring of Power. Sounds kind of a uh, Tolkien. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, and this is uh, Thor number 296, also from 1980. A Pollard cover. All right, and then this is a pretty cool cover, uh, 298, also from 1980. Thor's fighting a big dragon with a sword and a shield. It's awesome. Mm. <coughs> and 299, mm, I, I got a really... Uh, high grade of this from my LCS uh, in the past year. So, <clears throat> but this one looks like it's in really good condition also. It's got Valkyrie there on the cover. All right, and 300 I did not have. This is The Origin of Odin, and it's a thicker book. It's kind of an anniversary 300th issue from 1980. Pretty awesome cover. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, the next one is Thor 301. Also from 1980. Um, all these look like they're in really good condition, so that's great. Um, a lot of these kind of older Thors you'll find in pretty rough condition in, you know, dollar bins or or five dollar bins or something. All right, this is a 302 from 1980. Mm, Thor can't get to his hammer, so that's not good. <laughs> all right, those two I did not have. So 303, I, I did have this one. Um, this is from 1980. Whatever gods there be. <clears throat> Very interesting cover. I did not have this one. This is 304 from 1980. It has the Wrecker and the Wrecking Crew. This is it, boys. Waste them. Pretty awesome. I kind of think they messed up the Wrecking Crew in the MCU, but maybe, maybe that was a fake one or something. I don't know. This is 305. I think I already had a copy of this. <clears throat> This has an uh, Airwalker appearance. He's here on the cover. Cry of the Death Angel. And then this is 306. I believe I had this also. This is the origin of Airwalker and Fire Lord. Fire Lord's Final Battle. Mm -hmm. This is from 1981. <clears throat> Alright, this next one is uh, Thor 307 from 1981. Looks like it's got some kind of uh, the Dream Demon. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we have 308, and I already had this one, I believe. I got from a LCS from 1981, when snow giants walk the earth. <clears throat> Make a little room there. Sorry for still clearing my throat. I still got 
little thing going on. Um, all right, this is 309. I don't believe I had this one from 1981. Uh, beware the bombard bombardiers, bombardiers. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, this is 310. I don't think I had this one, or maybe I did. The Maelstrom to Mephisto. I believe I did have that one actually. But again, these look like they're in really good condition, so we'll see. All right, 311, I did not have. This is 1981, Crisis in the Inner City. I noticed there was a lot of uh, a lot of Marvel books kind of around this time dealing with stuff like that um, in the 60s also. All right, this is 313 from 1981. I had this one already. Thor stands trial in Asgard. It's pretty cool. Mm. All right, the next one we have is 314. And I believe I already had this one. This has the origin of Drax and Moon Dragon. They're there on the cover, a pollard cover. And then it's got the Spider-Man and his amazing friends advertisement. <laughs> All right, this is 316. This has an Iron Man appearance. And this is um, also from 1981. <clears throat> and I believe I already had that one actually. I got from LCS. All right, this is 317 I did not have. 1981, Chaos at Canaveral, the Man Beast. And this is 318 I did not have, The Kingdom Lost. Uh, this is from 1982. I, I think my LCS had this, but I, the condition was so low I did not get it there. All right, just a few more. This is um, 319 from 1982, The Zaniac. Craves blood. <laughs> That's hilarious. I, I wonder if he appeared anywhere else. Um, and 320, I don't believe I had. This is from 1982. It's like a some kind of bar fight. Some cowboys are fighting there. <laughs> I don't know what Thor is going to do with that. <clears throat> All right. And then we have 321. I think this is the last one uh, from 1982. Die, Thunder God. Fighting some menagerie. <clears throat> yep, that was the last one. So thanks everyone for watching. Hope you have a great weekend. And I will, uh, and oh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if, if you will. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.